What's up, y'all? You are playing with the coolest kids in school. I'm Ben. I'm Josh. And this here is CampingGearTV.com. The coolest. Yes, yep, the coolest online video review of the latest and greatest outdoor yeah. camping and adventure gear. That's so, right. We are taking a look at a bag. It's a duffel bag by a company yeah. called Eco Gear. Yeah, and it is the uh, Eco Gear Granite Duffel. Yep, we've, right. been, we've been outside testing this thing. We've been outside testing it, and um, I guess before we jump into it, maybe we should talk about Eco Gear a little bit. I think they're uh, a little newer company. They've been around a few years. I think started in 2006, maybe. Um, and so, as you might guess from the name of their company, Eco Gear, they make gear that is environmentally friendly. Is that what Eco means? Like Eco, eco is Spanish for environmentally environment. friendly. Okay, that's what yeah, I thought. That's yeah. what it is. I took Spanish too. Yeah, yeah. So, um, what Eco Gear's gear mostly consists of is bags, right? So these kinds of bags, travel bags, laptop bags. Uh, they have a sleeping bag that's coming out soon. Sounds that exciting. Looks kind of nice. Um, and uh, so yeah, um, their bags are all made with uh, organic cotton, not this one, this one doesn't have cotton in it. Uh, PVC free materials, so that's friendly on the body and the environment. No PVC? No PVC. So you can't use the bag for plumbing? No. No, no PVC. Plumbing. No copper either. Nope. No. Um, recycled plastics and toxic free dyes. Hmm. So that's a little bit about how EcoGear makes their stuff. Um, so I th all that stuff's kind of important um, as has become more prevalent in the media and everybody knows that a lot of the products that you see on the store shelves these days are uh, not the most friendly and uh, over time they're filling our landfills with toxic chemicals that don't recycle and all that kind of stuff. Right. Not this bad boy here though. No. Nope. No. All those other products ruin our lives. Right. This one saves yeah. them. So the... Um, the, the thing that EcoGear has is a patented system called EcoWeave, E-P-O, which is a patented system, and all their bags are coated with it, right? And so what that is, is it's toxic-free, PVC-free, like we talked about, it's safe in manufacturing and use, um, and it's what makes it, uh, makes it nice and sturdy. So yeah. it's definitely sturdy taking this out and using this. Uh, yeah. I mean, we've been outside doing yeah. some water tests. Right. I took this out uh, last mm -hmm. weekend and it's uh, really really sturdy I can't, yeah. I can't imagine that you're gonna tear the, the main the yellow material you no, see here no. yeah, it's, man this is uh, gonna take a grenade to get through the, this bad boy the material here this yellow stuff reminds me a lot of the material you would expect to find on a real high quality dry bag mm -hmm. like a seal line maybe but it's even it seems even thicker than it, that it does honest. It's a real, real yeah, heavy. Absolutely. Heavy like in thickness, yeah. not like heavy in weight. So these bags are designed for wear and tear. Um, they are um, durable um, and like we talked about, don't contain harmful materials. But uh, we decided let's go out and uh, get this bad boy really wet. Uh, so we filled the bag with uh, some of Ben's shirts. Mm -hmm. um, the most expensive t-shirts that I own. Some very nice t-shirts. T-shirts uh, that are playing. And yeah, some of them graphically very appealing. And then we took the bag outside and um, got it real wet. Mm -hmm. And there was this miraculous uh, rainstorm when it was really sunny outside. Right. Which was insane. But it helped us test yeah. the bag efficiently in yeah. the rain. So we haven't even opened it up yet from the rainstorm. No. Storm. So what, we had it out there for a few minutes getting pounded by, by the water. Um, so I guess uh, let's take a look and see. Uh, if any water got inside the bag. Before we open it up, I just... Okay. I, I, I'm, well, All right. Man, sorry, calm All down. Right. All right. Just, just looking at it, I'm not going to say that you're going to be able to fully submerge this. No. And, and no. But I got to tell you, from the system that they have here, mm -hmm. um, it, it looks like this should stay pretty, yeah. you know, water resistant. And what's right. nice is, is on the... Hey, let's turn this around for them to see. On the flap, or the zipper here. Yeah the top bit comes right. over the zipper so there's yeah. like this protective flap on there but i'll let you do the honors if you want well, to open it, it up. and it's also that you're talking about the zipper it has water resistant zipper so yeah. it's not just a normal zipper that's going to get water in but it's also not completely waterproof right so you don't want to take this thing and drown it right but it should be able to withstand the rain let's see what uh, happens yeah let's see what's up the zippers over here okay let's take a look here 
I... So we, we nothing special. We just stuffed this to the brim with T-shirts. Uh, feel, feel, oh, feel, feel this I one feel here. Feel a little bit of water in there. We're talking droplets, though, really. Yeah. A little bit of water in here. I wonder where it got through. Yeah, I wonder too. We pounded this thing with water. Yeah. What does the bottom feel like? So there's there's a little bit of water in there, right? And but you know, like we said, we like Ben said, we pounded it with water, and you can feel it. It's back down here somehow. Yeah, it is. So we pounded this thing with water, and before we go too far with it, the Eco Gear does not um, claim that it's a waterproof bag. Yeah, right? we we're just trying to check it's out. It's like we talked about: the zippers are water resistant, not totally waterproof. Uh, but we just really wanted to see what it could withstand. And for what we did to it, I, I think it performed pretty well. Mm -hmm. um, if you've got this thing and you're walking, you know, if you've got it at a campsite um, and, you know, it's got to go from, you know, your car to the tent or even if it's sitting out in the rain for a while, it's going to keep your stuff pretty dry. Yeah. yeah. And it also, it's just I really know, durable. The, the shirts here, yeah. say 90% dryness. 90%, right. Yeah. So... Yeah, and so for how durable it is, and it's really versatile, let's talk about some of the other things with it. You can see that this thing's got a lot of different ways that it can be transported and carried around town. So you've got kind of the typical one of these deals. You've also got some straps here that could be really useful for a lot of things. You know, you could... Like what? Like if you've got a sleeping pad that you want to secure in here, you know, or well, that's probably not big enough for that. But if you've got stuff you want to strap down to the side of it, maybe strap in a water bottle there. Um, I don't know what else, but whatever. It's got handles here. It's got little hooks here. It's got a zipper compartment here. Could you strap in a baseball bat over there? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Baseball bat. Perfect. Right. Zipper pocket here. And then the coolest thing about this is that in this compartment here, it has backpack straps that come out. Ta-da. Or should I say, ta-da. Oh. Yeah, that's what's up. So you take this and you hook it on here like this. You hook this on like this. You'll be the envy of yeah. all your camping buddies. Yeah, and then so you're going out, you're getting ready to go on your trip, you're tired of carrying your duffel around like this, and then before you know it, you're carrying it like this, like a backpack. So really versatile. I like it. I would be, uh, I think, <clears throat> whether you're at a campsite or walking in downtown Chicago or heading to the airport, I think people will have bag envy if you have this bag. Quite possibly. You yeah. may need the bat strapped in there to defend yourself from people stealing your bag. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. So yeah. you better bring one of those Rambo knives that we've talked about before. Oh, yeah. So it comes in a few different models and sizes. Uh, the 20 inch, my personal favorite, mm -hmm. is $59.99. And that is a 2,260 cubic inch bag, which is 20 inches by 12 inches by 12 inches. Uh, the next models up are the 24 inch and the 28 inch, which sell for $74.99 and $82.50 respectively. Mm -hmm. So a few different options, a few different sizes, a nice bag, uh, durable, friendly on the environment, looks very cool, lots of different ways to carry it. So thanks to Eco Gear for sending us this bag. Uh, we greatly appreciate it. Thank you for watching CampingGearTV.com. I am Josh. I'm Ben. Check us out later.